Hello and welcome to another episode of Stroke Rounds. Today we will start with a video. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this video? Is this a postural tremor? Is this a focal motor seizure? Or could this be an uncommon presentation of a TAE? Since there is a lot of discussion going on about limb shaking TAEs, I thought I'll share a few slides on limb shaking TAEs. Limb shaking TAEs are transient attacks of repetitive involuntary hyperkinetic limb movements, first described by Miller Fisher in 1962. After a series of similar cases in 1985, these were named limb shaking TIAs. It is present in 2% of patients with high grade ICA stenosis. As we know, there are many pathways, cortical as well as subcortical, involved in adjusting the postural tone and movement. If there is an intermittent hypoperfusion to these areas, symptoms of limb shaking may develop. So the main pathophysiology is hemodynamic compromise to these areas. Often, patients with limb shaking were reported to have high-grade carotid stenosis. What are the symptoms of limb shaking TIAs? There will be transient attacks of repetitive involuntary hyperkinetic limb movements, which usually last less than five minutes can be present in upper limb or lower limb. They are often precipitated by a change in body posture, prolonged anti-gravity position, standing up or on hyperextension of neck. Some of these patients also develop dizziness along with these symptoms. And many have reported improvement of symptoms on sitting or on lying down position. Let's go back to the first video we have seen. That patient had a severe carotid stenosis. He underwent STAMCA bypass and he was inducing limb shaking transit TIS. We can see he's quietly sitting. He is occluding his STAMCA bypass site. And 20 seconds later, he developed these limb shaking movements. After a few seconds of releasing the seclusion, his symptoms improved. Limb shaking TAS often possess diagnostic confusion. The most commonly mistaken one is focal motor seizure. It is very difficult to differentiate it from focal motor seizure, but with a normal EEG, absence of Jacksonian march, absence of incontinence in a low C, we can differentiate it. It can even resemble tremors due to lesions or stroke in thalamus, midbrain, etc. And it can sometimes be confused with asterixis. There are many case studies where EMG findings consistent with asterixis being demonstrated in limb shaking TIS. This is an article from Neurology which shows burst of activities in the space with periods of silence in a limb shaking TIA, which is similar to that is found in asterixis. Can limb shaking TIA develop without carotid stenosis? This is an article from Neurology in which a video EG is taken in a patient with neuro lupus, but the patient has absolutely normal carotids. Even in absence of limb shaking, even in absence of carotid stenosis, you can get limb shaking, which can be explained by cerebral hypoperfusion due to small vessel angiopathy in CNS lupus. Will there be any changes in EEG in limb shaking TIA? There can be. Some of these EEGs may show contralateral slowing but they usually never show epileptiform activities. So what are the take home messages? Limb shaking TAs are uncommon. It should be differentiated from condition, especially focal motor seizures. These are associated with high grade 
carotid stenosis and there is a high risk for future stroke. Revascularization, revascularization procedures leads to complete improvement in symptoms. Thank you. Please share your comments and views in the comment box below.